April is Armenian History Month, and we know that food is so central to any culture. And Aroxy, I'm sure you get asked this a lot, because honestly, I don't, I don't know anything about Armenian food. What is it? And where can I find it besides your house? <laughs> you are in luck. Yes, I get that question asked all the time. So I came across this beautiful cookbook recently, which not only highlights some of the most popular dishes, but it also takes you on a journey through Armenia. Born and raised in L.A., Ara Zeta found himself drawn to the kitchen. So I started in the kitchen when I was like five. I just, honestly, the truth is I wanted to play with knives. And the only way my mom would let me play with knives is if I started cooking. That was kind of my journey into it. That journey eventually led him to Armenia. I was always told that when you go to Armenia, you're going to have this different feeling inside of you and a different kind of experience. And I wasn't really sure about it until I first set foot there. And one of the main things that I noticed is I didn't really know much about the food. The, the, it, the cuisine was completely different than what we know as being Armenians here in L.A. Ara partnered with TUMO, a free-of-charge educational program for teens, and he taught cooking classes. He met and teamed up with John Lee, who was teaching food photography, and Kate Leahy, a cookbook author from San Francisco. The three of them decided to put together an Armenian cookbook. We said, we'll put our boots on the ground in Armenia, and we will get recipes from villages, and nobody can deny the fact that this is what they're making in Armenia. Armenian cuisine is not necessarily appetizer, breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's, it's more about big, large tables that have a bunch of food in it. It took four trips and four years to put their book together. They went with the name Lavash because you will always find Lavash at the heart of every Armenian table. It's a flatbread that's cooked in a tonid, which is an in-ground oven, and it's high temperature wood fire and they basically slap this thin dough that's stretched out over the walls of this Tony. There are over 60 recipes in the book, which is sectioned off by experiences. Those experiences led the three of them to try things they had never imagined. One of my favorite, favorite dishes that we always talk about, it's called banathash. It's literally Armenian mac and cheese, and they take lavash, they cut it into pieces, and they add water, and cheese, it doesn't sound very good, but when they bake it off, it comes out, the water melts with the cheese, and it's Armenian mac and cheese, and nobody's heard of it. There were many pleasant and delicious surprises along the way. Arish dough, it's like Armenian pasta, made with lavash dough that's, that's kind of compressed, that's super salty, and all of a sudden, there's an Armenian fettuccine that we never even heard about. A lot of Western Armenians don't know about this dish, but in Armenia, it's a standard, and you just take a trout, you stuff it with some butter and put tarragon inside, and then you roll it in lavash, and you bake it for 10, 15 minutes until it's crispy, and you have this flaky lavash, you have this steamed, beautiful fish inside. It is one of my favorite recipes from the book. What was, like, a dish you thought was Armenian but wasn't? <laughs> Well, there's a lot. <laughs> you got to think about Armenian cuisine in that region as hundreds and hundreds of years ago where borders weren't drawn. And there were villages, there were kingdoms, and people were making food from the land, and that food is going to cross. So Doma is Armenian to me, and if you go to Hayastan, you go to Armenia, they're going to tell you that Doma is Armenian. But you can go to Greece, and they're going to tell you that Doma is that. It's regional. You know what I mean? The, the flavors are different. Like, what about pachlava? There's Armenian pachlava, and that's different. The pachlava that we know out here is with phyllo dough, and it's thinly layered with pistachios. The Armenian pachlava is not like that, and we have a recipe in the book. It's called Goris pachlava. It's made in the south. It's hand-rolled dough layered with whipped egg whites and walnuts inside. And it's, it's actually incredible, but they call it baklava. It's... You know, that's the baklava I grew up eating. It's interesting, though. There's so many differences, but at the end of the day, it's good food, and food always seems to bring people together. That's the most important part, and that's the, the beauty of Armenian cuisine and, and Armenians in general. If you go to Armenia, you can be walking through a random village, and someone will spot you out, they'll bring you into their home, they will feed you, they will make you stay the night. And this is somebody you don't even know. It's about bringing people together and putting an abundance of food 
and having that community and love. Oh, Amazing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you can check out their YouTube channel, 1000 Meals, and you will find all the recipes on the how to's from this cookbook on their YouTube channel. The thing that I, that I really picked up on is lavash. Am I saying it right? Yes, lavash. Is so central to pretty much all yes. the dishes. Yes, right? so, so I brought lavash <gasps> for you guys. This is it here? That right. is it. You can oh, have so it beautifully thin. heated. You can have it like that. Sometimes they have it dry for certain meals like hosh. Yeah. And you just wrap everything in it, huh? Yeah, or just eat it plain. Oh. Um, mm. It's oh, lovely. Good. So the, the way they make it is unique. But, you know, when you get together, we like to eat, drink, always have a party. So play the music. <laughs> Inviting my friends. <laughs> Brooke, okay, Brooke, I'm, I'm coming. coming. I'm coming. I brought the baklava. And I know this is my grand differently. Baklava. 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 Yeah, this is my grandmother's yeah. recipe. So this is made kind of like, it, it's like we're this cheating a little bit. Here you go. Is it like fast food <laughs> baklava? With filo dough, it, it's I'm just going to take a little bit to my yeah. office. Matt, you want yeah. some? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so one is walnut and one is, one is pistachio. One? pistachio. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, pistachio. The, pistachio. the walnut is really good too. Yeah. Really yes. good. Oh, yeah. Now this is slightly different than how he was doing it traditional, traditional long. Yeah, and you will find the traditional recipe in in this cookbook. Oh. The cookbook's, I mean, really beautiful. It's not just about food. It's about a little bit of history, the images mm. and pictures from Armenia. Um, culture. You, mm. <laughs> he's can silent. I, can I say that it's so true? Much like the Filipino culture, but the Armenian culture when you go to their house they don't let you leave mm. and they want you to eat everything i've mm -hmm. been to uh, roxy's house and her mm -hmm. family who are amazing by the way the yeah. food just kept coming right mm -hmm. <laughs> you, uh, you thought it was the first it's like second and they third want you, and fourth. they want you to drink <laughs> <laughs> but that i did yeah what's wrong did. with that the best was well, when because i don't drink oh that part. <laughs> and so her grandfather thinks i'm really strange no, no. <laughs> and asked her in my face while i was there in armenian so i didn't know what he was saying yeah. what's wrong with him <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try some of the recipes in here, but are they only things that, like, they, can I only get the items in specialty stores, or can I go no, to the no, grocery no. store and get That's a lot the of the beauty things? of this a cookbook. Uh, Ara said that they specifically tested everything out here in oh. the States mm. okay. to make sure that you can find all of the things they talk about. Because I'm going to make a jigalov hat. And that is a specialty oh. in Artsakh. Look at this. Can you that dishes. Oh, when you make amazing. it, can you bring that in? Um, <laughs> I'm going to test it, it in my it's test a, kitchen. It's a hot. Yes. It's not a hat. Oh, it's a hot. <laughs> hot is it's a bread. Hot. hot. It's is a hot. Bread, it's yes. like a stuffed lavash. Right? It's sort of, yes. Yes, that is specific to Artsakh, actually. It's um, amazing. I'm going to No, try there's it. some cool things. Anyway, um, enjoy. And finally, okay. everyone yeah. in the Rock, newsroom, you, you can you. enjoy as well. <laughs> <laughs> they've, so they've been like, so very guarding. good about not messing with your props, been but now it's guarding my season. things. Yes, please help yourself, everyone. Arasia. Seriously, this has been really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So thank much you. For this. So happy to share this with all of and you. And it's so happy to for us to learn more and we'll try our hand yes. at making some. Yeah, of these absolutely. And we're so happy to uh, eat it. And we're so happy to eat it. Okay, go we're going to eat our take that. Baklava. Uh -huh.